It's Monday. It's 4 o'clock. You know what that means? It's time for the hostess next door. I'm your hostess, Chef Vanessa Kantav. So excited to have you joining us today. We have an amazing guest on the show, Carol Alt, supermodel. We're so excited to have you here. I'm so happy to be here because, you know, there's so many misconceptions about raw food. This is called the Seventh Heaven Soup, and every time I make this soup and I taste it, I think, why don't I make this soup more often. Okay. It really is like seventh heaven. So make sure you have your blender. Okay, we have a blender mm -hmm. here. We're gonna do this slow and easy okay. to make sure we don't burn out the blender. We're take our time. So just not, like just, a rough chop? Yeah, and not, yeah, you can even do okay. bigger. Oh, mm -hmm, yeah. okay. I know, okay. right? It's, you're just it. throwing it right into the blender. Okay. Now, mind you, we're cutting the cucumber. Yes, go ahead. I didn't Can I, stop Should you. I leave the skin on? You leave the skin on. Okay. Because right. we're talking about whole foods and how okay. incredible whole foods are for your body. Okay. So this, the skin has a lot of vitamins and nutrition. You know, we better put a little water in there okay. and then blend it so that's already liquefied. Okay. That would be a good start. Okay. Is that too much? Um, no, do a, a little more. A little bit more. There you go. That's perfect. Okay. Oh, awesome. Your blender's doing a good job. Good. Okay. Now, should I pour this in a nope. bowl? Okay, um, we'll leave that there. Like, you I know can... what? Maybe we should because it's so small. And we've yeah. got all the other things. And then we can like go. batch it. Yeah, we all can right. batch it. It's a good idea. And then maybe we should batch that one. Ba okay. All right. I'm going. And, and the great thing today. That's good. Yeah. Good. More. Let it go, brother. Guys, it's good water. Okay. Good. Okay. One question about what you're making right now, Lisa wants to know, is there any chance to color the soup different colors by adding different things, like squash, if you want to make it look purple, for example? Well, oh, it, you already know we're putting the red pepper, we're putting the tomato, so you're getting color there, you're getting the green, so ultimately it does end up kind of a muted like a, red green yeah. color, you know? <laughs> Wait, it's worry shallots? About it. A little bit? Yep. Do we put it in the blender? Um, you know, I think we should put some of this in the blender and start ah, this as our base. Okay. What do you think? All right. Got it. All right. Got it. That's okay. kind of the base. Yeah. Okay. So, so now we can put, you know, onions okay. into it. So we can put half because we're kind of doing half. Okay. So miso paste. Miso. Garlic. Garlic. How many? No, cloves? not with the fingers. You'll end up smelling like garlic when your boyfriend comes over. <laughs> to you, know, like, you know, you can put salt. Salt. Okay. You like pepper. So pepper. Like, so, so you're yeah. gonna blend that up, and I'm gonna eat some. Watermelon over here. Okay. All right. I got even this. Even though I ate lunch, I love watermelon. Now, let this guy blend. Okay. All right. This looks good. It tastes great. Looks really good. I can't wait. Okay. So just like this. Yeah. That's okay. It. Is that good? That's good. And then you would garnish then you with garnish whatever, it whatever you want. Whatever you want. So okay. you know, for me, that would be cilantro. Okay. So because I love cilantro. Oh my god. This is so exciting. I need a spoon. Okay. Mmm. Oh my God, it's so, so, so good. It's good, isn't it? It's so flavorful and like really fresh. Right. And the shallots are not overpowering, even though no, I did put the garlic might be a little bit, but that's my fault. Oh, I, I like, but I kind in. of like garlic. I probably wouldn't be able to kiss my boyfriend after I eat this. Yeah, well, I sleep but... alone these days, so <laughs> No, no, this is really, really good. I like it a lot, okay. All right, and, and you then know, would this be the main course? Well, with a stronger blender, mm -hmm. You, it'll actually liquefy more. Liquefy and like yeah. mellow out. But yeah, I like it. You know it. how the Vitamix makes it like anything like Yeah, 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 like super liquid. But yeah. I like this. It has like just a tiny right. bit it's of texture. It's almost like a gazpacho. Yeah, it's like a gazpacho, but like really flavorful. Right. Okay. So this is like a real gazpacho. Okay, all right. Okay. okay. We're going to do this really quick. We added a half an avocado into our soup base, and we're going to do this one more time. <laughs> Different consistency, it up. yeah. yeah it up. Do you have another mm -hmm. Wait. Yeah, this is gonna be this Ooh, is a different color. Uh, yeah. That should be good. Oh, this is great. Like look at the oh, difference. Oh, look at that. Okay, now try oh, that. Oh wow. It's like a smoothie. It's like a veggie smoothie. Alright, I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, I like that. Right, the avocado mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. adds something mm -hmm. a little more creamy mm -hmm. to it. Okay, I really like that. So now I'm su suggesting everybody who makes this soup definitely add avocado in there. It totally changes the consistency of it. Everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. This is heavy duty to follow up on it. It's <laughs> big shoes to fill after this. <laughs> See you next week. Wow.